From the vast reaches of the Mongolian steppe, an army of over 100,000 men swept aside all resistance, claiming territories that spanned continents. Their leader, Genghis Khan, proclaimed his life's ambition was to unite the world under one empire. Having conquered the East, the Mongols turned their attention to the West, where they would come face to face with some of the greatest armies of medieval Europe. Would Genghis Khan's legendary warriors finally meet their match? By 1221, the Mongols had taken cities throughout Asia, generating vast amounts of tribute from those they conquered. The West, however, was still an untapped resource. Genghis Khan sent his trusted generals, Jebe and Subutai, to attack Europe. With an army of 20,000, Jebe and Subutai took the West by surprise, raiding cities and destroying armies. Within two years, they had the prosperous Rus territories in their sights. But in their way was a Rus army of over 40,000 men. Outnumbered, Jebe and Subutai turned and started to head back east. The Rus sensed an easy victory and set off in pursuit of their retreating enemies. For eight days, the fast-moving Mongols stayed just out of reach. Then, Jebe and Subutai set their trap. They lured the Rus across the Kalka River and turned to fight. The Rus had fallen for one of the Mongols' most effective tactics, the feigned retreat. The stage was set for the Mongol army to test themselves against Europe's finest. The Mongols charged across the European plains with the fatigued Rus army in close pursuit. The Rus had fallen for the Mongol tactic of the feigned retreat and unknowingly followed them into peril. The Mongol general sprung his trap on the enemy scouts. With the Rus scouts cut down, General Subutai crossed the Kalka River. Here, he would stage a full-scale ambush on the vast Rus army.
Supertai directed his warriors to split up and lie in wait for the enemy. For Subutai's strategy to be effective, he needed to spring his trap before the Rus recovered from their long pursuit. He sent his most fearsome Mangadai horse archers to draw the Rus quickly towards the ambush site. These highly skilled warriors could fire their bows rapidly while riding at speed. The Mongol provocation was effective, and the Rus hastily pursued. Oh, my God. 
the Mongol army tore through the Rus forces, reducing the enemy ranks to a few desperate stragglers. Seeing the fate of their comrades, the last Rus encircled themselves in a makeshift fort of baggage carts. The Rus stockade fell. Despite a valiant last stand, the remnants of the Rus army were cut down. Spurred on by the crushing victory at the Kalka River, the Mongols advanced ever further into the heartland of the Rus'. 